Welcome to the VarsityKansas.com Big Show. I'm Joanna Chadwick of the Wichita Eagle and Varsity Kansas, and we are taping this at KSN. My guest today from Cape and Mount Carmel wrestling coach Tim Dryden. He is not Jim, just <laughs> so, so you know. Thanks for having me. He has a me. twin <laughs> named uh, Jim, and he's coach mm -hmm. out at campus, coach though. Coach at campus, yeah. Have you two well, ever yeah. coached together? Uh, never, uh, never in wrestling. Uh, you know, we, we grew up coaching a lot of baseball, things like that, and we used to coach baseball together, things like that. But never wrestling. You know, I've tried a few times to get him to come over and help us out, and he's... You know, he's happy doing what he's doing. He was at East for a few years and at West, and now he's at campus, and he's, he's got a building a good program there. That's great. Well, let's talk a little bit about your program. You guys, I was out for regionals this past weekend and watched you guys win your regional, and you guys did pretty pretty well, too. I mean, that's not a tough regional to win, uh, either. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, with Goddard and Ark City and Bishop Carroll, and West is much improved, Andover's much improved. Uh, you know, Liberal and, and Goddard Eisenhower, you know, they're kind of in a rebuilding phase, but the other six teams, yeah, I mean, we were... If someone would have told me going in, hey, you're going to win the regional by over 40 points, I would have said, you're crazy. You know, we're, we're hoping we can just be near the top, you know. And, uh, but the kids really wrestled extremely well, so we're happy. You guys are in quite a role. You win the City League title first since 1992. Yep. You get a regional, which we're not quite sure when that last <laughs> happened, but it's been longer, longer than you've been It hasn't been, been in my time there, right. And I've been there 16 years, so it's been a while. What, how special is this season? Uh, well... I mean, you always want to do well. We do, but especially when you have seniors, you know, you always want them to go out on, on a good note. And uh, so, for we've got ten seniors, and uh, so for the team to do well, you know, it's really gratifying for us as coaches. But really, you want to see those kids have that type of success. And so, uh, the kids have really bought into what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, we're extremely happy. You know, you even you know last week at regionals, we had a couple. Uh, we had a senior that didn't qualify for the state tournament. And he was pretty heartbroken you know and, and that, as coaches that that touches us you know and we feel bad for that kid but you know it's nice to we go to that kid and say no you, you helped us win a state title which we haven't or a league title which we haven't done since 92 you helped us win a regional title which we haven't done since who knows when you know I mean that's something to be proud of and uh, and you know and he started I think kind of rethinking that himself he's like and, you know, and it was something to be proud of and uh, so we're extremely happy with with the seniors we'd love to see them you know got on a good note this weekend at the state tournament so uh, and, and it's been a nice unifying uh, thing for the team this year. They've all, you know, kind of bought in. They know what we're going to do. The underclassmen can kind of look up to them and kind of see, okay, that's what this is about. That's what we're trying to do. And we get great leadership from them. You know, guys like Parker Howe, that, uh, you know, Patrick Burris, Jacob Mills, those guys just come in. But hey, guys, let's go. And uh, uh, and that's that's a nice thing as coaches that we don't have to, to be on the kids because those upperclassmen can really kind of keep them in line for us. Well, and you got two regional titles. You had Patrick Burris and Parker Howell. Mm -hmm. And I wrote about Parker Hall, Howell a year ago. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He had that injury, and he was yes, able to come yes. back, and he wins a title last mm -hmm, year. Mm -hmm. I mean, how tough is that yeah. kid? Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's very tough. He's very tough. We also had Ethan Harp that was a regional champ for us, You're too. Right. So, uh, but, uh, you know, he just he's a gamer. I mean, you know, there's a lot of kids that they don't want that big, tough match. You know, and, and, and I'll be honest, we saw, I see that at the state tournament already. I saw, you know, kids jumping out of weight classes and moving weights and this and that because, uh, you know, to be honest, Parker was extremely disappointed that, uh, you know, probably his toughest, one of his toughest competitors, a kid from Goddard, uh, uh, wasn't able to wrestle this past weekend. Uh, uh, and, you know, and, and Parker was crushed. He goes, you know, I don't care if I win or lose. I just want to wrestle the best kids. And, uh, and that's the type of mindset that you want from, from the kids, you know, is uh, just go out and wrestle the best. Uh, if you win, great. If you lose, there's, there's no shame in that. If you get beat by a good kid. And, uh, and that's kind of the mindset that we're trying to pass on to a lot of our other kids. You know, wrestle hard. You wrestle the best that you can. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Just go out and give it your best effort. Uh, and so far, you know, the last couple of weeks, our best effort has been pretty good. So we're going to keep going with that this weekend, and hopefully that, that effort will be well this weekend. But he's, he's extremely tough. He goes hard every day. Uh, you know, we usually put Coach Spangler with him, and Coach Spangler just goes with him and goes with him. And, you know, even he came to me the other day, Coach did, and he goes, he just whipped my butt. <laughs> you know, so and that, that's kind of nice, though, when you got a kid that, that can go that hard in the room. So. Well, and talk about Ethan Harp. I mean, he's a kid who had a great football season, too. I mean, he, the kid is just a straight-up athlete, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He's just very athletic, uh, you know, but, you know, that's probably, uh, we should say, really, a contribution of our, our Coach Klein, one of our assistant coaches, Coach Jonas, another one of our, our big coaches, you know, because Ethan had never wrestled until high school. Just a football player, and that's kind of what he wanted to do. Uh, we kind of talked to, hey, you know, if you wrestle, it's going to help you be a better football player. And I think he, he would say that wrestling the last few years probably has helped him w with football. And, uh, but, you know, Coach Klein just goes with him and goes with him and you can see how he's just gotten better and better as the season's gone along and uh, and the confidence in him is growing I think he's starting to realize you know no matter who he wrestles 
not going to be any tougher than, than Coach Klein. You know, he's a two-time All-American at Nebraska and three-time state champion for, for me years ago. And uh, so that, that's been a really wonderful thing. And Ethan has wrestled probably the last couple of weeks as good as we've seen him wrestle. So hopefully that, that trend continues. You know, talk a little bit about uh, a lot of the programs in the area will have guys come back who have done so well mm -hmm. in that program and they come back and coach. How important is it to have guys like that? Uh, well, you know, I mean, with, with Coach Klein, you know, uh, the great thing is he brings that, that kind of college mentality uh, to the room. Uh, you know, and to be honest, we try to uh, coach the kids and teach the kids as far as what we're instructing as if they wanted to go to that next level. Uh, you know, and Frank Jonas was the same way. He was a three-time state champion for me and four-time finalist, and, and he went to the University of Nebraska uh, to wrestle. And, uh, and so, you know, when you get guys like that that have had the high school success but then are able to go on, take it to the next level, uh, kids can appreciate what they've done, but they also know, hey, I'm going to listen to this guy. He knows what it takes to have that type of success. You know, we get, you know, kids like Doug Hoover, that was a four-time state champion for us, that will come back a lot of times and put on some camps and clinics and things like that for us. You know, my son uh, was a three-time placer state finalist this last year. You know, he comes back and does stuff with our kids. And, uh, you know, that's nice that we continue to have those kids that come back into the program that uh, have paid their dues, you know, but they also want to give back. They're like, hey, we want to see, you know, our program have a lot of success. And that means a lot to me as a coach that those kids come back. Uh, and I think it means a lot to the kids. How tough will it be? Is it a possibility that you guys can take this 5A title? Ooh. Well, anything is possible. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I, think, I still think St. James Academy uh, in Kansas City is, is probably the team to beat. I do. They, they've got some really, you know, top quality kids. I think Mill Valley uh, is another strong program that, that is doing well. Uh, you know, I think, I think we're going to be in the mix, you know, and, you know, our, our kind of motto is we're going to go in there and try to mess up someone's party because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't look at us as, as really having a chance to win it. Uh, but we're going to, you know, go in there. And, and if we don't, that's fine, but we're going to give it our best shot. And, uh, you know, I think Newton, uh, they only bring in like six kids, but uh, the six they're bringing are pretty tough. I mean, they've got, they've got some good kids that could, and they could play kind of a spoiler role too because they've got some quality with the kids that they're bringing. Uh, but we're excited about the opportunity. We're excited about taking 11 kids. Uh, you know, I mean, state tournament's not going to be won in the first round, but it can be lost in the early rounds if we don't wrestle well. So we're going to, you know, kind of have that mantra and get the kids after them early. Uh, and kind of see what happens. Now, what kind of a wrestling coach are you? Are you the type who has it all uh, mapped out as to what you need to do to place uh, here, here, and here? Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do. I'll sit there and I'll look at brackets and I'll start going, okay, you know, how's this going to fall? Where's it going to be? And, uh, you know, but, you know, on the same side, you know, you know, perfect example is my son, his, his junior year, uh, you know, we looked at it and we knew realistically winning it was going to be a long shot for him and, and just from the draw and, uh, you know, and I had coaches calling me and, you know, one of them was my brother and he's like, dude, have Tyler lose early and that he'll have an easier draw to get back in for third, but if he wins, then he's going to cross and he's going to meet so-and-so <laughs> and he may not even place and, uh, and, and, and my brother was right. That would have been the best thing to do, but I just don't feel that's the right thing to do. I said, you know, you go to win every time you step out there and we actually did and we actually still ended up placing. We beat a, a really good kid to get into place, a kid that probably nobody thought we would beat uh, uh, and, and that's you know and, and, and I've looked at it and I, and I know for some of our kids that might be an easy easy way to go but we're not we're gonna say hey, we're gonna go out every match we're gonna try to beat everybody uh, and there's gonna be a couple matches we know we're gonna be underdogs and probably decidedly big underdogs but uh, you know we're gonna get after people and, and when we leave the mat I told the guys win or lose we just want that other guy to know man that guy came to get after me you know and that's what we want him to think so that's good yeah well, Coach, thank you so much for joining me on the show. Enjoyed it. Thank you. And good luck to you this week at State Wrestling. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, it is quite a week in high school sports. we got State Wrestling Friday and Saturday out at Hartman Arena for 6A, 5A. Class 4A is in Salina and 321A is back in Hayes. All right. Let's take a look back a little bit at last week. It was State Swimming last weekend in Heights. Drops down to 5A. And they take second in Class 5 through 1A. East finished up third. Christopher Clemens from Mays, he got a title there. Uh, Bryce Blattner from Heights was a part of three golds. He won an individual, plus he was a part of two relays. And Rose Hills, Gavin Smith, and Noah Baden, both of them come out with championships there. And also Mays South's John Lavelle, he got a title as well. We had City League Bowling as well. We had uh, ABCTL Bowling. We've got Regional Bowling this week. It's a it's just a busy week. It's just crazy trying to keep track of it all. So I hope you get out to all these different events. Bowling starts on Thursday. It goes on Friday as well for different regionals around the state. And we've got wrestling. This is one of my favorite times of the year because I love going out to state wrestling. There's just nothing better than those thousands of people packed into Hartman Arena, which is a great venue to watch wrestling. 
to see all those mats and all those workers that it takes to run this event. It is truly a special time and I hope that you can get out there and see it even if you don't have a kid who is wrestling out there. And the Saturday, the Parade of Champions was always my favorite part of state wrestling and I hope they get back to it this year. Last year was a little bit crazy with the weather situation that kind of threw everything off. So hopefully this year will be a little bit more normal. Make sure to check out the Wichita Eagle and Varsity Kansas.com this week for stories heading into state wrestling. Of course, basketball ends up this week too. We've got Tuesday, Thursday games, a couple Friday games in there, some makeup games kind of scattered throughout as well on Monday or, or Thursday. And it's going to be a fun one because we have league titles on the line. Salina Central and Mays play. And uh, Salina Central got a three point win over the Mays girls the last time they played. It's going to be another tough one. This will be at Mays, and Salina Central is unbeaten. I'm sure Mays is hoping to be that team to uh, wreck that record right there. Uh, also, Trinity Boys are going to be at Independent. There's a league title there on the line. Southeast is at Heights. If you remember the first time Southeast and Heights played, it was Ely Bell on a last second throw it over the shoulder. I don't know. I can't even explain. It was so awesome how he threw that left-handed shot up, a three at the buzzer. Makes it on Sports Center number one play of the day. Will we see a, rem a remake right there? Will it be even better? It'd be hard to imagine, but I would expect that to be a good game. And Southeast, what a tough week. They go Heights on Tuesday, and then they've got East on Thursday. Another game to be watching for is Eisenhower May South. Now, May South has lost two straight games. We can't blame the karma of the varsitykansas.com big show here. They had injuries, so that just throws out all the karma that you get from coming on the big show. And yes, I stole that from Jim Rome. Deal with it. We got sub-state pairings this week coming out. State wrestling pairings are in the Eagle today and at varsitykansas.com. Sub-state pairings come out Wednesday for 4A on down. And of course, 4A has split into two divisions. So there will be two divisions of sub-state pairings there. They will run in Thursday's Eagle and I will put them up on VK as soon as I get them. 5A, 6A will come out on Saturday. Thank you so much for joining me on the varsitykansas.com big show. It's a big week. Get out and watch some high school sports.